behind the barbed wire. Who can teach me the etiquette? The etiquette for being misunderstood. I war with uneasiness. Everything average makes me sick. Beyond the reach of crowds, what do I do? Do to stop this voice that never ceases. I wrestle with poetic demons. I speak for the lost and all those going through pain. Every word I say, the sound of a comeback. Testifying of your victory. A witness to your overcoming. Because I am, I am the voice in the flame. Inside the raging furnace, where do I find an apology? An apology befitting of my rebelliousness. I fight the fist of that doubt. How many know what it's like? Like, like to be young, gifted, and crazy Over the walls of resentment Why am I? Why am I so hard for others to accept? Must they slander every corner of my existence? Then let it be as they wish For I am the voice Every word, the sound of a comeback Testifying to your victory I am A witness to your overcoming Because I am burning I'm the voice in the flame. How many know what it's like? Like to be young, gifted, and crazy. I argue with emptiness. You can either sit around and listen to testimonies, or you can become one. Which one you gonna do? Successful people know what they want and why they want it. That's why they are successful. You gotta make a decision. What is it that you want? You can either sit around and listen to testimonies or you can become one. I am truth in motion. Listen here. Truth is its own gay keeper. Nothing can stop what truth sets in motion. You gotta stop asking for other people's permission to live your dream. It's not the other people that owe you. You owe you. Stop begging for what you haven't earned. It's time to get up and grind. I strum the divine chord and my harmony summons the full manifestation of who I am. This is what truth looks like in motion. Young, gifted, and burning. Successful people get comfortable being uncomfortable. The common person will do anything to do nothing. They lazy. That's why they sell so many of them lazy boy chairs. You can either sit around and listen to testimonies or you can become one. What is it that you want? Sculpted by the blade itself A thousand knives couldn't kill me But now in the darkness Underneath her shadows The warrior discovered himself Shaped from the hammer of pain A thousand betrayals couldn't break me But there in the storm At the very center of her chaos The champion in me got stronger Truth is the gate king Stop asking the world for permission To live your dream The less we entertain lower level thinking The less we will experience its outcome you can either sit around and listen to testimonies or you could become one. For it is written, but be doers of the word and not hearers only. I can see my dream so clearly now that its manifestation is inevitable. Nothing can stop me. My daddy used to tell me, son, if you're gonna make a mistake, then make it full speed. Some people drown, others go out in a blaze of glow. I'm young, rich, and burning. If a desire burns long enough, it'll grow into an obsession. Whatever becomes an obsession will eventually become a reality. Religion talks about truth, but true awareness demonstrates it. Greatness is in the details, shape from the hammer of pain. A thousand failures couldn't stop me. Carved out with the razors of suffering A thousand lies couldn't fool me For in the moment of trial Beyond the grasp of all hope I wrote my own story I dreamed my own dream I seized the moment I made the decision To stop asking for permission But there in the night Above her angry mountains, the seven thunders gave birth to a warrior. Death belongs to the unaware. Those who have awakened know only eternity. I am truth in motion. I strum the divine chord, and my harmony summons the full manifestation of who I am. You can either sit around and listen to testimonies, or you can become one. Son, you're just a dreamer. you're dreaming is never gonna happen I would ask myself every single day are you just a dreamer or are you a person who can grind until they execute 
Somebody who can make that dream a reality. Is that you? Get clear on what you want in life. And you do that by starting with the way you want to feel. How do you want to feel every single day when you get up? Every day that I get up, I want to be on fire. I want to do the things that I'm passionate about. I want to write. I want to speak. I want to create. I want to get in front of people and change lives. This is what I want to do every single day of my life. I wanted somebody to look at me and say, I believe in you. But that's the way it's always been in my life. See, when you dream big, it's like you speak a different language. The common man, the average person will not understand a person who is dreaming on the next level. I know I'm talking to somebody out there right now who can relate to what I'm saying. You got dreams, you got ambitions, that nine to five job is just not enough for you. You got this grand goal of conquering the world, but no one around you believes you. Listen to me champion, don't get discouraged by that. You see the common man, the average person, they can only see with their eyes. But the greats, the legends, the difference makers, the ones that have rocked and shaped this globe, they saw with their mind. It don't take faith to dream small. You see, the world belongs to the bold and the rest are just spectators. What do you want your legacy here on earth to be? When you are dead and gone, what do you want people to say about you? Don't be scared to dream big. Successful people engage in only two types of activities. Seize an opportunity or creating it. Now, greatness is an art. The brush that we use to paint this canvas of success is our mindset. The colors we assemble to bring that masterpiece to life are vision, discipline, grind, and perseverance. Now, to excel at this radical form of expression, we must stay focused and not let the distractions of the world interfere with our work. Now, every day, we must go to the altar of commitment and reconfirm our vows. From a burning state of truth, our hands must aggressively chase perfection. As artists of excellence and high achievement, we must never introduce the fear of failure into our work. Nor should we ever let the opinions of others deter us from pursuing our God-given destiny. May I sweat water the garden of dreams. May our dedication be the sun that makes our goals bloom. And may our why destroy any wall that dare stand against us. The actions we take are the hammer and chisel that carve our life into success. They are the brush and paint that transform our canvas of existence into greatness. They are the piano keys and guitar strings that make our life a song to remember. The warrior must do more than just fall in love with a dream. They must also marry the grind that it takes to make it a reality. Destiny believes in absolute equality. Therefore, every individual gets to experience the life their thinking deserves. It's not our president, political parties, government officials, the police, or some secret privileged elite establishment that continues to enslave us, but rather the inner dictators of our own minds. Now when we seek to change the world by external means, we only fool ourselves into a deeper form of bondage. The fullness of the Emancipation Proclamation, set in motion by President Lincoln in 1862, can only be experienced and enjoyed by those who understand where real liberation comes from. Those who have yet to awaken to this fact will continue to remain shackled and imprisoned behind the iron bars of blind thinking. Regardless of their promises, no civil rights organization, no political party, no presidential candidate, no dream team law firm, nor any religious denomination can usher in what only us as individuals have the power to do. Slavery, since the beginning of time, has proven over and over that she is ignorant of all color. She does not discriminate on who she wishes to enslave. Anyone whose thinking will allow her to be their slave master, she will lash ruthlessly with her cruel whip of limitations. 
Her ownership can only be overthrown by the awareness of where her authority truly resides and that place is in the mind. The true freedom writers of humanity will point us not to the voting polls of a future November, but rather to the liberating power residing within our own skulls right now. The laws of greatness are ignored and seen as madness to the common man. Those who want and desire to be massively successful must first take their mind and ways to the guillotine. The blessed and unstoppable believer understands that trials and tribulations are just chaotic voids begging to be penetrated by the power of the mind. Those who desire next level living must join the insurgency against the dream murdering regimes of average and complacency. Greatness can only be achieved by all our war. This requires an, an aggressive, ruthless, daily attack on all corners of one's existence until the full overthrow and annihilation of the internal totalitarian government that enslaves the common man. To become the best version of you, you must do more than just think outside the box. You must totally destroy it. Your life should be a relentless form of subversive art that disrupts the false illusions of human limitations. Make no apologies to the ignorant for displaying the truth within you. Those who displayed genius, those who projected greatness, those who arose from nothing to become something were all first laughed at, doubted, and made fun of. The rejection of the world did not stop them. It merely intensified their desire to overcome the struggle and ascend to even higher levels of achievement. The world belongs to the bold. The warrior understands that to grind with bold action is the most powerful prayer of them all. The common man does not choose his destiny. Fear decides it for him. Many seek to attain greatness in order to feel loved or accepted. However, since the beginning of time, the laws that govern high achievement have testified that greatness at first is always rejected and misunderstood. A fully awakened believer is not subject to external circumstances. He is the master of them. There is not some political messiah out there that can set us free. Liberation comes from within. My thoughts are disciplined and of the highest order. I usher in God's truth with the power of my mind. All the powers in my life that appear to be now bow to the power that actually is. Any illusions that run contrary to the truth immediately dissolve before my very eyes. I am the source. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God lives in me. Therefore, I am whole, and I bring that wholeness into every situation. I strum the divine chord, and my harmony summons the full manifestation of who I am. Some talk about truth, that's religion. But I demonstrate it, that's power. I am truth in motion. Nothing can stop me. It is written, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. There is no obstacle, no situation. No trial or tribulation that can stop my dream from manifesting. I didn't just think outside the box. I completely destroyed it. I closed my eyes and project my dream onto the canvas of the world until everything that I imagined becomes my reality. Circumstances align and conspire to acknowledge truth and I am truth in motion. Burn it. I am the inner symphony of fire. Good is not good enough for me. Greatness made me. Therefore, greatness is in me. There is nothing about my creator, my maker, that is lukewarm, that is average. Anybody who doesn't believe in my dream doesn't belong in my life. Money comes to me easily, frequently, and abundantly in God's perfect way. Lack. Sickness, disease, none of them have any place in me. For the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of sound mind. Let us all close our eyes and starve the illusions and feed our dreams. Fresh water shall pour, pour from the fountain of ambition. 
There we will recover our lives. Again we shall rule the days. For by facing our fears, the fears of dying, we shall once again discover living. Darkness, ignorance, savagery, all fall from the tree of confusion. Those asleep roam the orchids of struggle while the chosen build their empires. Yet who's strong enough, strong enough to conquer their own thinking? Who's brave enough, brave enough to war with failure? Fresh water, fresh water shall pour, pour from the altar of immortality because we, we are the priests of destiny. The inner symphony of fire. I strum the divine chord and my harmony summons the full manifestation of who I am. Religion talks about truth, but true awareness demonstrates it. A fully awakened believer is not subject to external circumstances. He's the master. The level of truth that you function at will determine the amount of power that you have over your circumstances. I see not, I believe. I hear not, I believe. I know not, but still, I believe. I starve the illusions and feed my dream. I am truth in motion. God still moves. You can keep your religion. I'll keep my relationship. You can keep on doubting while I'm believing. You can keep on hating while I'm grinding and dreaming. You trying to get a paycheck. I'm trying to leave a legacy. Your goal is to get on stage. You waste the days gossiping with your friends. I grind from the moment I get up to the moment I go to bed. I have no plan B. There is only one option, and that is for me to succeed. This is a hobby for you. This is air for me. If I don't do this, I don't breathe. They asked me if I wasn't doing motivational arts, what would I be doing? I said, I'd be in the grave. I didn't come to be an all-star. I didn't come to be in the Hall of Fame. I came to be the best that ever did it. I am the source. The greater is he that is in me, the he that is in the world. God lives in me, therefore I am whole, and I bring that wholeness into every situation. I'm not playing for victory, I'm playing from it. I am the source. As Christ said on the cross, it is finished. What kind of life do you want to live? Success is a choice. It's a decision that only you can make for you. First comes the choice, then comes the commitment. Are you willing to commit to doing what it takes to go where you want to go? A lot of people say they want to be successful. But they struggle and they stumble on that commitment part. A lot of times, the only way we will make that commitment is we have to hit rock bottom. We have to get so sick and tired of feeling the way we do before we'll ever take the action needed to crawl up out of that pit. I think you're ready. I think you're ready and you wouldn't be listening to me right now. I think you know that you have greatness on the inside of you and you just need somebody to speak over your life and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I speak greatness over you. Arise, champion. I'm speaking to somebody out there. The reason you feel so uncomfortable on the inside is because you know you're not being the best version of you that you can be. That discomfort is trying to move you from where you're at to where you belong. Your destiny is greatness. And you know this on the inside. And that voice just keeps on calling. And you're never going to have the peace until you go become who you are supposed to be. Now we're going to set this change in motion for you right now. I want you to say this with me. I want you to say this out loud. I am ready to change my life. I am willing and committed to going all in and fully commit to doing the things that it takes to become the person I was meant to be. And that starts right now. All excuses stop right now. I will not from this point forward point the blame at anybody else for my own destiny. I will take responsibility for who I want to be. I will get up every day 
and work toward that person that I know that I am on the inside. I pledge with all my actions allegiance to success. I will search deep down inside for a why that will allow me to run through walls with it because I will not be denied. Champions put in place the habits and daily rituals that manufacture success. They push themselves constantly to the point of pain. And by refusing to tap out to that pain, they eventually give birth to greatness. Pain is no match for a real champion. The legends understand to be a winner. One must be comfortable at being uncomfortable. The dark, the unknown, the fears that stalk each and every one of us must be faced and faced alone. For the more we go through the fire, the more refined we become. Those struggles, trials, and tribulations, they mold and shape us, prepare us for the calling and events to come. We learn to perform under stress, under duress, and without hesitation, because perfect practice consistently makes one perfect all the time. The inner standard of a champion sets him apart from the masses, the wannabes, and the uncommitted. Legends refuse to settle for mediocrity. For them, being average is the plague and totally unacceptable. Champions go all in all the time. Not just on game day, when the practice is over for the team, the work for the champion just begins. They understand the process and what is required to be elite, to be great, to be the best. It requires obsession, passion, focus, and an unbelievable work ethic. Sweat becomes the friend of the 1%. Success is available to anybody that is willing to work for it. Success can only be bought with the currency of hard work. And champions refuse to concede to anything less than leaving every ounce of themselves on the practice field. The weight room, the classroom, whatever champions do, they carry that same inner standard of greatness with them. They don't turn it on and off depending on where they're at. It is constant. They never enter an environment without it. To stand next to them is to be infected. Their commitment inspires, strengthens, and impacts everyone who comes in contact with them. They are the leaders, not by word, but by actions. They set the example for their teammates and exemplify the message, blessed and unstoppable. Warriors are invincible until their own minds and mouth betray them. Many of those around you won't be able to see your dream, but you don't need them to see it in order for it to happen. All you need is a set of your own eyes that do. Knowing how to do something right isn't enough. The greats are great because they forgot how to ever do it wrong. Before a sickness can get your body, it must first get your mind. The doors that haven't opened in your life are value locked doors. Meaning, the doors of opportunity that you have waited for so long to open will not open until you first embrace your self-worth and see your true value. Every day, live towards the pursuit of success requires dedication, discipline, and resiliency. For victory to be materialized, one must dive deep into the belly of failure and snatch it away with undeniable will. Clinging to the shores of safety and comfort denies one the glory of conquering the seas. Leave your cowardice on the beach and like the bold captains of legend, sail directly into the vast ocean of greatness. Success is war and sometimes a very costly one. To be victorious, one must be willing to shed their own blood, sweat, and tears upon the battlefield of days until destiny waves the white flag of surrender. The master key that unlocks all bondage is hidden in the mind of the one who thinks they're enslaved. Words 
no matter how beautifully said or written, will always play second to the art of action. All the great men and women of history at some point in their life decided to be great. Decision is the womb that action is birthed out of. Doubt and pessimism are both malicious thought perspectives that seek to derail the birth of greatness. Those who believe in limitations have succumbed to the madness of illusions. Those who desire to be uncommon must first deal with the insanity of their common sense. A dream must be pulled into reality with the hands of unwavering belief. The struggles and difficulties of life are just arrogant mountains daring us to climb them. To accomplish big things, one must burn with passion when doing what the common person sees as small things. Greatness hides itself under the rocks of the simple and insignificant. Clarity is the monster that devours all opposition. You must see yourself with such awareness that it makes your dream inevitable. The awakened one dreams away his life unhindered by the world's illusion of limitations. He is fully conscious of his inner power to mold and shape the seen world. His dreams and creative imagination become the commands that dictate to the physical realm. Reality responds obediently to the desire thrust upon it manifesting the grand will of the enlightened mind. It's not what you don't know that's holding you back. It's what you do know and aren't applying to Destiny is birthed out of the sweat of today. The more one talks about their problems, the less energy they will have to overcome them. Greatness hides at the bottom of insanity. One must be willing to dive into the belly of madness to swim in the impossible. Every time the world gives you a no, there's a success coin that goes into your account. And when you get enough of those denials, then and only then can you purchase greatness. Self-awareness requires trading in one's mortal eyes for eternal ones. And with these eyes, no matter which way one looks, all that can be seen is God. Blessed and unstoppable. Success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. Now faith was never designed to be passive. We ought to be aggressive, even in the waiting. How bad do you want it? When your why for overcoming is greater than the obstacle. The obstacle ceases to exist. Breakthroughs are engineered from the inside out. Breakthroughs happen when you begin to ask yourself the right questions. Refuse to give time, energy, or focus to things that don't belong in your future. Every challenge has a mindset required to overcome it. Your your mouth is a creative weapon, not a tool for distributing excuses. The struggle is real, but so is the God that will help you overcome it. The lies of the enemy cannot hide in an environment of truth. A prayer wrapped in doubt is not a prayer. That's a wish, and it has no power. The three things God always responds to are faith, love, and forgiveness. Love is the power, and it changes everything it touches. God is love, and what is not of love is not of God. We are blessed and unstoppable. Happiness chases those who master the art of forgiveness. Never look at defeat as permanent, but see it as a temporary gestation period from which a greater victory will be born. Truth does not discriminate. She blesses all who embrace her. Thoughts and behaviors consistently aligned with success will eventually give birth to the outcomes that create it. Wisdom has not been fully accepted until it is consistently applied. The quickest way to overcome failure is to starve your of the thoughts and actions that allow it to sustain itself. Begging doesn't move God. Faith does. Faith is the only language spoken in heaven. Everything else is gibberish. When you master the things under your control, the uncontrollable eventually becomes irrelevant. Faith, mind, and the spoken word are the three most powerful things in existence. And when you're united in truth, nothing can prevail against them. Truth is the chiropractor of the mind. Forgiveness is dialysis for the soul. Change will only happen when you initiate it.
needed a disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible. Your mindset is the thermostat that sets the tone for every environment that you enter. You cannot walk through the door of God's blessing still carrying every wrong done to you in the past. What doubt murdered faith can resurrect. The way you think today will manufacture what you experience tomorrow. Your life comes directly off the assembly line of your mind. To give up on a dream is to commit an abortion on the life one could have had. The devil will always go to war at the point of expansion. Every place that you can grow, thrive, or multiply, the enemy will attack. There's a mindset required to see opportunity. Can you see it? One thought can change the momentum and trajectory of your whole life. You're just one thought away from greatness. Success is about positioning. Getting up every day and doing the right things will eventually put you in position to win. Your future is too important to be held hostage by fear. Your life right now is the fruit of your previous thoughts and belief systems. Unforgiveness is the number one thing hindering most people's success. Broken focus is the number one reason for failure. Success requires understanding every aspect of your opponent and the best way to do that is to look in the mirror big changes start with small steps true faith is to laugh at any evidence challenge or obstacle that runs contrary to that which you are believing for let nothing derail your progress to be successful you must find ways to stay consistent even when drama chaos and unforeseen circumstances arise because they will stay ready warrior breakthroughs require embracing the things that make you feel uncomfortable your success potential will always be equivalent to the level that you're willing to be uneasy. Greatness stalks perseverance. Success is governed by the law of supply and demand. The universe will supply whatever your faith demands. Someone with real faith needs no external validation. They just own the dream with absolute belief. Opportunity will always find the person who refuses to quit. It's your faith, not your circumstances that destiny bows to. Those brave enough dive into the dark unknown to achieve their dream shall see the world begin to move and shift to bring about the circumstances required to call that dream out of the abyss and into the light i'm dr billy all's books and i am blessed and unstoppable motivational art welcome to the Louvre. impact one billion and to god be the glory